welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be talking about Chrissy Teigen yet again now if you've been following me for a while you'll know that I've already spoken about Chrissy Teigen and her questionable tweets way back when last year and actually coincidentally it is the video with the most views on my channel so if you've never watched it you might want to go and check it out I'll place a link for it in the corner of this video. But yeah, today we're gonna to be talking about the tweets that Chrissy Teigen sent to a 16 year old back in 2011. Chrissy had sent Courtney Stodden numerous hateful tweets which were seemingly unprovoked and Chrissy seemed to just take a disliking to Courtney. So if you don't know who Courtney is, they are a 26 year old model, actress, and does a little bit of music on the side too. But they became more famous back in 2011 when they were 16 when they got married to a 51 year old man called doug hutchinson which became a scandal of course because he married courtney when they were 16 which potentially means that there was some grooming going on when they were underage and he's done the same thing with numerous women since so it seems like that is his kind of that's the way that he gets women which is very disgusting obviously nobody condones that and he's never really been held accountable for these kinds of behaviours and their marriage was highly publicised and nobody really raised the red flag well they raised the red flag that obviously there was a huge age difference but not the predatory aspect of things which is very worrying because like I said their marriage was highly publicised they were on magazines they were doing interviews and nobody was really concerned about the fact that she was obviously very young so during this time, Chrissy Teigen decided that she had taken a very strong disliking towards Courtney and she sent out some really nasty tweets. I mean, considering that there was no personal conflict between the two of them, there's really, this was really uncalled for. But I'm going to show you these tweets anyway. So there was, must have been a period of time where Courtney's Facebook page was shut down and Chrissy tweeted saying, saying Courtney Stodden's Facebook page got shut down for being too inappropriate is like saying the bad historical germans were just meanies as in not quite now obviously she was trying to be funny not very funny but she was trying to make a joke but it, this is just the tip of the iceberg for some of the really mean things that she said to courtney during that time she also said what drug makes you do that with your mouth asking for a friend who really wants to know how to look like an idiot thanks in this tweet, she's referring to an interview that Courtney did with her then husband, Doug, which I'm going to put the clip in and then we'll, we'll discuss after. So in this clip from that interview, as you can see, Courtney's lips are kind of doing the most. They're doing a lot. But Chrissy, there's just no need. Did your mum never tell you if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all? But in true Chrissy Teigen style, she followed that up with a simple, I hate you. And then proceeded to ask her why she speaks like a Fabio book. Now, I cannot lie, I've never read a Fabio book before, so I'm not quite sure what the insult is there. But Chrissy Teigen is mean. She's just like a mean girl. She's a mean girl. You are a mean girl. You're a bitch. And of course, Chrissy wasn't finished there. She also sent tweets saying, my Friday fantasy, you dirt nap, mm, baby. Implying that she would have a good day if Courtney Stodden was not here. She also said, go to sleep forever. That was in response to a tweet that Courtney had put out, which was completely unrelated to Chrissy. She just thought that she would chime in with her little two cents of negativity. And according to Courtney, Chrissy's hateful messages didn't stop at just the tweets. She did also allegedly send her inbox messages, DMs, with the similar kind of hateful tone. Courtney claims that they frequently received messages from Chrissy telling her to take her own life. So it was reported in People magazine that Chrissy had actually apologised publicly for the comments made to Courtney and for the bullying that has taken place. She said, I'm mortified and sad at who I used to be. I was an insecure, attention-seeking troll. And to be honest, I couldn't have said it better myself, Chrissy. 
She also said, not a lot of people are lucky enough to be held accountable for their past BS in front of the entire world. I'm mortified and sad at who I used to be. I was an insecure, attention-seeking troll. I'm ashamed and completely embarrassed at my behaviour, but that is nothing compared to how I made Courtney feel. Chrissy also claims that she tried to reach out to Courtney in private. Chrissy also added, I have worked so hard to give you guys joy and be beloved, and the feeling of letting you down is nearly unbearable. Truly, these are not my only mistakes and surely won't be my last, as hard as I try, but God, I will try. So Chrissy is laying it on pretty thick with the apology, but Courtney also responded to Chrissy's apology via Instagram, and they said, I accept her apology and forgive her. But the truth remains the same. I've never heard from her or her camp in private. In fact, she blocked me on Twitter, Stodden wrote. All of me wants to believe this is a sincere apology, but it feels like a public attempt to save her partnerships with Target and other brands who are realising her workness is a broken record. So it appears that Chrissy didn't try as hard as she claimed to reach out to Courtney and properly apologise for what she'd said in the past. Now, Chrissy actually recently left Twitter, citing all of the negativity that she's been getting recently from all of the crazy tweets that she puts out. She said that she just can't really take it anymore. So she decided to leave the platform, which I think is just really interesting considering the amount of people that she has personally victimised on that platform. So yeah i think it's a bit of double standards from chrissy teigen there but of course i want to know what you guys are thinking leave a comment down below i mean personally i'm not the biggest chrissy teigen fan i found her last scandal with her whole twitter post to be very suspicious and i'm just not really here for chrissy teigen and although i'm not a fan of cancel culture either i do feel like people need to be held accountable if they have personally made somebody feel bad like she went out of her way to just be absolutely awful to courtney so i do feel like she does need to be held accountable but of course, let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.